A 14-year-old boy is in custody in Racine after police say he shot his girlfriend when she tried to break up with him. Thankfully, she survived that shooting, and tonight she is in the hospital recovering. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joining us live from Racine tonight with the very latest. Michelle. Well, the victim's family tells us that the two dated for about a year, and this shooting has rocked the victim's family's world. What seemed to be a typical Sunday for a 14-year-old girl ended tragically. Police say she and her 14-year-old boyfriend went to a store together, but what happened along these abandoned train tracks on their way back nearly ended her life. The criminal complaint said the 14-year-old told her boyfriend she wanted to end the relationship. That's when police say he made her turn off her phone and then shot her in the head. He told police he was in a rage over a Snapchat post and the breakup. Family started this GoFundMe page to help pay for the care of their strong young lady. The complaint says after the first shot, she begged for her life and heard him say, you have to die, then shot her at least three more times in the head. Police say incredibly, the girl was able to run away and flag down a motorist near 21st and South Memorial Drive when her boyfriend went to look for her phone that was left along the tracks. Now, the suspect took off after the shooting. Police say they found him at a friend's house with a backpack they say contained a handgun and two magazines. And family of this beautiful young lady say that she remains in intensive care tonight. Reporting live in Racine, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.